Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the front bumper cover on this 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's the same part and similar process on these Cherokees from 96 to 98. And the items that you'll need for this is a new bumper cover from 1AAuto.com, Phillips screwdriver, 10mm socket and ratchet, hammer, and a T25 Torx driver. Start off by removing the four Phillips screws in your grill. And we'll fast forward as Mike does this. Tilt the grill forward and lift it up and out. And then remove the 10 millimeter bolt above each of your headlights. Pull your headlights out. And disconnect the harness on the back. And then remove this T25 screw right here. And then there's one down underneath your side marker light. You can actually just pry the T25 Torx driver underneath and then loosen that up. And you'll be able to feel when it's loosened up and then just remove the top one and the side marker light will pull out and you can just pull your bulb free. And then remove this T25 screw and you may have an additional T25 screw but ours was missing and it would be just below that. And then you just want to twist out both of the sockets and your parking light will be free. Now there's clips along the front of the bumper cover, just where the grill was, and you just gotta pry up the center and pull those free. There's two more, and just repeat the process on those. And then remove the series of clips in the wheel wells. And just like up top, they just pry out. And you will also have a series of clips at the bottom of your bumper cover, but ours are all missing. Once you've removed all those, you can just pull the bumper cover forward and out. And now take your new bumper cover and then line up the tabs on the side with the brackets and just push the bumper back into place, making sure all of your sockets and harnesses are going up and over the bumper so they don't get trapped behind. Make sure you tuck the inner fender underneath the bumper. and that the top is clipped in. You'll see there's a clip on either side. And then replace this series of clips and you want to just push in the bottom and then push the top down to lock them into place. And we'll fast forward as Mike replaces those. And if the center gives you trouble and won't push down, you can use a hammer to just knock it down into place. And now Mike will replace the clips around the rest of the vehicle. And you can see we did actually buy some additional clips so we could replace the missing ones. Push the sockets back into the parking light. And then push that back into place, clipping in the left side first, and the inside, and then the back, and then replacing those two T25 screws, and then repeating the process on the other side. Okay, to put this in, the best thing is to have the screw in, but all the way back, put it into place.
Okay, and then you gotta basically look right through here. Get the screw into the hole. And once you got it, it goes right in. And we'll fast forward as he tightens that up the rest of the way and then replaces the other T25 torque screw and tightens that up as well. All right, so you're gonna reconnect the light and then just make sure these sockets go onto the balls and push it in. Place the 10 millimeter bolt on either side and tighten it up. Line up these four tabs on your grill with these four slots. And just push the tabs down into place and then lean the grill back into place. And we'll fast forward as Mike replaces those four Phillips screws and tightens them up. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.